So good morning, everyone. Jessica Miller. It is uh, Wednesday morning at 6.52. Still trying to find out a good time for me to do these videos, and maybe this is when it's going to be. So good morning. I hope everybody's getting ready for work or wherever they're going to go, and life is going to be great. So I am uh, popping on because I have done my seventh blog post. It's, well, it's not my seventh blog post, but it's on my seventh jury trial, which um, I've titled the jury trial uh, where I try to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> which isn't in my nature, <laughs> I guess. i just kidding. So as you progress as a trial attorney, one of the things you need to do is try new things. You just have to try new things. So you're in court all the time. That's a benefit of being a, in trial practices. You see other lawyers, you see what they're doing, and you just need to experiment and figure out what works for you as a person and as a prosecutor to be the most persuasive you can be in front of a jury, in front of a judge, uh, in order to um, have your uh, views uh, taken into account and ultimately relied on in making determinations of guilt. So that can be done in a lot of uh, different ways. Uh, it can be by different uh, foundational questions that you ask. It's as simple as using your body language or your positioning within the courtroom to suggest important details as a witness testifies. Uh, you can change your tone or your cadence. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with just volume, cadence, or body language to be persuasive. Uh, there is... Uh, not only an argument, but when you're asking questions, your cadence uh, with the witness also helps as well. Uh, and so you really, as a younger attorney, you spend some time just kind of trying all of those different things out to see what works for you and what doesn't. Um, in my seventh jury trial, it was a domestic violence case. Um, facts briefly involved a boyfriend and girlfriend. They had gotten into an argument over the defendant taking the victim's ATM card. Our uh, victim tried to get her card back and defendant grabbed her arm and then put her into a control hold. Both fell onto the couch and as the defendant got up, he kicked her. Um, there was a witness who was in the apartment the whole time as well and at trial, both took the stand and they changed their story. Uh, they were inconsistent both with each other and um, with the prior statements that were made to law enforcement. So uh, basically this case just fell apart on the witness stand. It fell apart completely. Um, and so I had nowhere left to go. And so I thought, well, maybe this is going to be one of those cases where um, I try a different approach with my direct, uh, with my victim. Uh, I know that I, and I had seen uh, lots of examples of assertive, almost aggressive behavior with a witness to uh, showcase their lies. And so I thought, well, let's go ahead and try that, see how that feels, see if I can highlight uh, the uh, lies that the victim was telling on the stand. Um, however, <laughs> my overly assertive, I'll call it overly assertive behavior. My overly assertive behavior came off as just plain mean. Uh, I got feedback from the jury that it did not play well uh, with uh, me as a female uh, being aggressive with another female. Um, and so uh, even the defense attorney, I remember, he was like, man, I didn't think you could be so mean. <laughs> at the end of the trial. And I was like, well, it wasn't being mean, I was being assertive. There's a difference. Um, I was asking direct questions and, and really holding the uh, victim's feet to the fire, trying to get a clear answer. And um, instead of uh, showcasing lies, it showcased myself. Uh, and, and I have learned over time that uh, that is not a good good fit for me. For me personally, as a female, uh, as a prosecutor, uh, overly assertive behavior or even sometimes assertive behavior in the right circumstances uh, comes off uh, terribly. Um, I have over time learned that there are times and places for everything. And so sometimes I get away with being overly assertive. A lot of times that has to do with um, male defendants. I can be a little bit more assertive there, but I have to go in and out of that. Um, I, I will tell you, I've even learned that I've uh, changed how I dress in trial uh, in order to, uh, be more credible in front of my jury. Um, they like, uh, they respond better to me if I look feminine and, and I have gone away from the pantsuits to a more feminine approach when I, uh, am in front of a jury, just because that's who I am. And, uh, if I try to mask that, even with my clothing, uh, it doesn't play well because I'm not being authentic to myself and the jury can pick up on that. And, uh, I'm, 
I, I believe they don't think I'm as credible um, when I'm not being myself in front of them. So I've changed that as well over time. Um, I've talked to other uh, prosecutors in the um, female prosecutors in this area, and they've they've reported the same thing with overly assertive behavior. And so they've learned to adjust as well. Um, I do have some uh, prosecutor and defense attorney colleagues that don't care. They think this this is this works for me. This is my tactic, and they just go with it. And that works for them, uh, but it doesn't work for me. So ultimately, though, uh, my guide. My job is to guide the jury through evidence in a way where they can understand what it is and why it's important. And so I personally try not to make any trial about me. Um, if I can get through a trial and just kind of melt into the background when it's over, that's, that's a trial well done in my opinion because uh, I didn't highlight anything about me personally, I highlighted the evidence. Um, and so this was one of those cases where that really shone through. Like, don't highlight yourself. You need to work with what you have and use your persuasive techniques in trial uh, to showcase the evidence and the law. So that's number seven. It was a big learning lesson for me, this one. Uh, and I think about it all the time before I go into a questioning where I know I could be aggressive. I remind myself of this particular trial and I really um, focus assertive behavior in areas rather than do an entire direct or cross-examination that way. So have a good day, guys. This was number seven. I'll be uh, getting two more up this week sometime. Hopefully I'll get the videos a little more timely. Uh, but there is a lot going on this week with work. So I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.